Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we're going to do something quite different from what you usually see. So instead of actually discovering a lot about a particular threat and then presenting certain information, this time I'm going to give you my hands-on first impressions of the Annabelle ransomware. Of course, in the process of getting this on the system, I do know a few things about it. Supposedly, this is kind of like a skill demonstration for the ransomware authors. They don't really expect to make much money off of this, but it is more just to scare people and whatnot. So let's see what it actually does. Now, I've already noticed a few interesting things. So first of all, it's detected by 38 out of the 67 engines on Vars total, and the file size is unusually large, so it's around 16 megabytes, which is not what most ransomware is like. I mean, 16 megabytes, what are you doing over there? So it kind of suggests that it has some graphic or audio content, and I might be entertained. So without further ado, let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Now I will warn you that the audio is probably going to be a mess, so I'm going to try to keep it down. I'm going to lower the system volume, so it's not that bad, but we'll see what happens. Ah, oh, surprisingly, the computer seems to be restarting without much drama. Okay, so now <laughs> it's giving me kind of like a horror movie song or something like that. And that combined with the VirtualBox audio distortion is actually creating a great effect. Ah, I don't actually hate the soundtrack, to be honest. So this is the ransom message. What happened to my files? All my files have been encrypted. Sure, um, I'm kind of aware that the ransomware is decryptable. So if any of you happen to accidentally stumble across this and are worried, don't, because you can get a decryptor for it. Let's see what else we got here. What is going to happen if I'm not gonna pay? Huh, interesting question. If you're not going to pay, the countdown will easily ran out, and then your system will be broken. <laughs> That's awfully specific. The countdown will easily ran out. If you're going to restart, the countdown will ran out a much faster. I hope the encryption algorithm for this ransomware is better than the English. So it's not a good idea to do it. You know what? I'll take the dare. So, let me just reset the VM and we'll see what happens. Logging in now. And I bet the same message pops up again. Yes, it does. But ah, the timer is running much faster now. And quite a lot faster, I would say. I mean, this rate at which it's going right now, I don't even think that I would have enough time to pay. Even if I had my Bitcoin ready right now, it would take longer just to go to the website and do something. So if you restart, it's pretty much um, certain doom for you. At least that's the idea. You know what, now that the timer is running so fast, let's just wait and see what happens when the timer actually runs out, which it is going to do in like less than a minute or so, I guess. Let me see what happens when I click on these links. Can I actually open something? No, you can't. So you have to do this on a different system. All right, it's gonna show me my encrypted file. So it uses the Annabelle extension. That's very innovative. But the timer is close to running out, so I guess after this it's going to do something like overwrite the MBR, which is not particularly uncommon. Hmm. 
By the way, I don't know if there's some actual horror movie theme or something that this ransomware is following. If there is, please let me know in the comments. I'm not much of a horror movie fan. Okay, so the system glitched out and now it's restarting. Oh no, that, that sound. It's gonna... Sorry, headphone users. All right, so after rebooting, it seems this is what you're greeted with. Annabelle Icorex hash one three three seven. That sounds like a Discord um, tag, so that's kind of cool. And it says "Miss me" sarcastically, like, "Yeah, do you miss your machine?" Like, yeah. <laughs> so that's nice. Thanks to someone for some ideas, and uh, okay, that's interesting. As bad as video games are getting these days, we'll probably have threats like this legitimately being sold as video games at some point. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun for me to take a look at this ransomware. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please like and share if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to the Peace Security channel for more. This is Leo. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.